from the Stitch Sisters here and we're coming to you today with uh, a new type of video for us. It was inspired by our top 10 uh, Christmas presents ideas and we thought actually January is a bit of a dull month Yeah. and we haven't really got very much money. We're trying to be good and we're trying to uh, pay Christmas off <laughs> and uh, so we decided to make a little wish list for the spring for when our finances come back up to normal <laughs> levels. So we've made a little list of different things that we want, that we found, that we're, we're Trying to be good over. and not buy just yet. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the categories are books, their sewing planners, their fabrics, their tools mm -hmm. and patterns. And we've each picked one our for, favourite, our favourites our very for each favorite. section. What we're trying to do is, obviously it's very easy to look at all the lovely things that pop up in your Instagram feed or come yes. in your inbox. And want um, them all. Yeah, and want them all. <laughs> so what we thought is if we separate them into categories and make ourselves just pick one, our absolute favourite, yes. then we're having a very selective approach to our buying. Yes. Um, but also Thinking because we're doing it, it as, well. as a wish list, yeah. our idea is, is that whilst we're waiting for our finances to improve um <laughs> it also gives us time to think on it a little bit um, yes and so we're not just impulse buying yes um but we're actually planning our purchases and then having some time to dwell on them a little bit and they may well change but yeah exactly. um, we love them so much we we don't think they'll change we don't think much. they will yes um, but but um but yeah so shall we start with books yes which shall I start? yeah go on then so i have been gushing over this book for a while and it is called How to Start Sewing by Assemble Books. Now clearly you know that I can sew <laughs> so I'm not starting from scratch but this is all about dressmaking and what I've been looking for is a while for a while is some kind of encyclopedia mm. that I can go to. Yeah. I want if I because I'm I'm fairly new to dressmaking. I have been sewing for a long time but I'm fairly new to dressmaking. I want something that if I don't know what a certain term is or if I don't quite know how to do something in a pattern, I want to be able to go somewhere yeah. and, and have a reference guide. Yeah, I mean the Vogue sewing book is that for me yes. um and, and has been since you bought it for me years ago um, and I absolutely love it. Yeah. But um I have a nineteen seventies edition uh -huh. and I think they have have more revised editions but there's still quite a lot of old terms and, and maybe a lot of processes that many of us don't actually use anymore yes um so a modern reference that's just as comprehensive yes exactly. and maybe with more detailed yes uh, pictures it's, um, it's all black and white inside and it's it's beautifully done. The mm. images and everything are beautiful. But there's over 600 pages yeah. of um, sewing, everything from, um, you know, sort of hems and darts and all sorts of things. And it gives you little... Um, little things to do yeah so you get to do a little placket and you get to do uh different types of pockets and things like that so you get to practice them on a mini scale before you're actually applying them to your yeah. garments and that's they what they describe as well. it as like a sewing course in a book yes. don't they so you yes. work your way through the modules yes. and i think the reason why that would appeal to someone like you and or me or anybody regardless of whether you're a complete beginner or if you or have not, some sewing yeah. experience we've all got gaps yeah. There are things that we just, especially if you're self-taught, there are things that you just didn't pick up along the way. Yeah. And I quite like the idea of working through it in a modular way and just flicking yeah. through the, the chapters where you feel like you're confident and you yeah. know what you're doing, but then working through the exercises yeah. in the ones where you're less confident. But even then, even if you do know what you're doing, I think sometimes with sewing, especially with garment making, it's about honing your skills as well. So yeah. it's about improving them. And I, I like the idea of doing them on a small scale and just practicing. And yeah. if you didn't get it right first time, it doesn't matter. You chuck it in the bin and do another mm. one. But you, it doesn't mean your whole garment has been ruined by yeah. the fact that this hasn't worked. I wasn't that excited about that particular <coughs> thing until Nikki showed me the pictures Mine. of the little mini samples that they yes, gave to me. So and as gorgeous. soon as I saw little mini placket samples <laughs> and pocket samples, I just I'm want to excited. decorate the whole sewing room with them. Yeah. So... 
um, we might well work through it together. Yeah, we think we probably will. Did yes. Because we don't do anything together at all, no, do we? Exactly. No. There's going to be a lot of crossover <laughs> with all of these things. So as long as, you know, whatever one of us wants, the other yeah. one will find a use for us. So. so it's it's How to Start Sewing by Assemble Books and it's readily available all over the place. It retails at around about £25. So it is an investment, but I think it's a very good one and everyone should have one. I've seen fantastic reviews on it as oh, well. Oh, yeah, so absolutely. The Fold Line have, have uh, reviewed it in detail as well. Yes. Um, a few months back, but she's right. where I first saw it. And I've been well, funnily it enough, since. I think there's a theme here because yeah. the book that I've chosen as well was also reviewed by the Fold Line, <laughs> and I'd seen it a few times. It had come up at Amazon had recommended it for me. You know how it says, "Oh, mm. we thought you would like this." Um, and I had a look at it and I thought, "Oh, I'm not sure, really sure that I need it." It's called "Sewing Your Perfect Capsule Wardrobe," and it's by Ariana, uh, sorry, Cad Ariana Cad Cadwallader. Wallader. So I have to really think about <laughs> Cadwallader, um, and. Um, I have been given a lot of thoughts to uh, my approach to sewing for 2018 and, and I definitely want to start thinking more along the lines of a capsule wardrobe. Mm. Um, I've got some big holes in my wardrobe that are mainly basics. I get drawn to um, lovely prints yes, and exciting and fabrics <laughs> and then I make these crazy dresses or um, tops um, and then I don't have anything to pair them with no. because if all your uh, fabrics in your wardrobe are prints. crazy prints and if you're not a big one for print clashing then <laughs> there's not really any way you can go with it so I yeah. want to focus on more basics that I can then wear with some of this other stuff um so I'd started looking at Capture Wardrobe anyway and then I uh, saw the Fold Lines review of it and looked at the book in more detail mm. and thought, oh, this is absolutely perfect. So what it is, it gives you five key pieces. So I think there's a top, a skirt, trousers, a dress, and uh, I can't remember the other one, maybe a jacket or something. Yeah. Um, and then what it does is it shows you how to adapt each of those pieces in a number of different ways to create the look that you're going for. So mm -hmm. from those five pieces, you mm -hmm. really could create a whole wardrobe. Excellent. Now, because I've got a little bit of pattern drafting experience and I have created some of my own patterns, um, I could probably create all of these looks. It's um, a lot of work. It's though. a lot of work. It's, it is a huge amount of work. And the thing I like about this is they've already done. Yeah. And if you adjust each of those five pieces mm -hmm. for your usual adjustments mm -hmm. to make them fit you, then any of those variations are gonna fit you too. Yes. So I like the idea of being able to make culottes cropped trousers, shorts, mm. yeah. wide leg trousers, and do it quickly. all from the same well-fitted trouser pattern and do it yeah. very, very quickly. Yes. Um, so that is my choice. It's £20, it retails at £20, mm. um, and I put, but I've seen it available as cheap as £13, depending on where you're looking. Uh -huh. um, so that's definitely top of my top book of list. list. <laughs> Lovely, so we're going on sewing planners next. Uh, so. Uh, we we have both got a sewing planner, yes, uh, but we've got different ones to show you. Mm -hmm. So the one that I'm going to show you is the seam work one, which is a free one. Um, but it's the way that they've approached it. It has to do, I think, more to do with fashion, yeah, than actually to do with planning your wardrobe. Yes, yeah. it's to do with planning your wardrobe and planning looks is what it seems like. So you would you would plan the trousers and the top and the jacket plus the accessories and everything to go with the whole outfit. I'm very handsy today. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> She's doing Maybe a magic it's, show. it's going on. Suddenly it's all the stripes and the hands. I apologise <laughs> if you're going a bit good. Like <laughs> Just tie me down. <laughs> so I'm going to show you a few of the pages. So this is the the palette page, which is talking about neutrals and basics and statement pieces and prints as well. I think that's to do with fabrics or it may be I don't do you think that's fabrics? Yeah, I think it's to do with um, the colours that you want in your wardrobe. Yes, I think um, that's So, what it for says. instance, the two big trends that I'm aware of this year um, are either crayon colours, so very, very bold uh, prints. Yes, <laughs> I know. Stripes Hello, have colour. you met me? Um, <laughs> <laughs> or pastels, it's yes. one extreme or the other. Soft pastels yeah. seem to be the other that's thing. That's amazing. Um, and then, obviously, how amazing. <laughs> Um, everybody is talking about the colour of the year as well, being sort of, well, everyone seems to think it's everything from lilac to magenta yes. to basically any kind of purple. Any purple. Um, but I think the palettes is about you choosing your colours first. Yes. And then obviously, and you, I guess you could uh, you sort of take pictures or take little bits of samples and put them all in, in here and populate it that way if you wanted to do that. Then there's also this criteria page, which is all about the context. And I guess that's just kind of making you 
sort of focus on what it is that you want to make. So whether it's what you, you, need, to what do you for need to do for you. So trousers and what, what kind of shapes you're looking for and that kind of thing. And then you've got various look pages. So on these you've got, well it says formula and then you can do a little sketch if you want to. So I guess so this is talking would about be this top yours, plus, these plus these trousers plus these shoes yes. plus this bag and equals then look you can one. You can print <laughs> off little, so if you find a Pinterest or an Instagram pic that has, has inspired you to make this whole outfit, mm -hmm. then you can kind of refer to it down there. And then it's got your project plans. So that's if you've found that trouser pattern and want to go ahead and make it and everything like that. So I think it is good. Um, I'll have a bit of a play with it. It means um, you don't have to save your pennies because it's free. Because it's free. <laughs> but we do have one which is much better. Um, so yeah, the one that I'm going to show you <laughs> is by the lovely Athena Kaku from Craftaholic. Um, and she provided us with a, coffee, a copy so that we could review it for her. And we do have plans to do a full review a full, very soon. Yes, We um, want to populate it first before we actually go ahead and do a full review. Because I think it will look better once it's got lots of stuff. Yes. In. Not that it doesn't look good, but it, it, you'll have more of an idea. Yeah, absolutely. But we thought we'd put it on here anyway, <coughs> because if she hadn't given it to us, then it would definitely be top of oh, our yeah. wish list for 2018. Um, because it's beautiful and it's very comprehensive. So this is the <laughs> front page here. And um, just look at that beautiful hand-illustrated sewing machine. She's, she's done. She's had beautiful hand illustrations done all the way through it. Um, so it says, my sewing planner. Um, and um, we have here... Uh, Look at a the page for model. body measurements. I love her. I love that she has my hips and waist and thighs uh, as opposed to some skinny mini. Um, and then you've got places here where you can uh, put your bust, waist and hip measurements, the usual adjustments that you need to make to patterns and then any additional notes. So yeah. that's always handy to have at the front of a planner. Um, but I like things like this fabric stash page. Mm -hmm. um, where you could put a swatch from all of the fabrics that are in your stash and then you can put what the description is, what the composition of the fabric is, the width, the amount, the price, yeah. where you got it from. I'd need a lot of those pages. Yeah. Can I just yes, say? Yes, you would. You would need <laughs> hundreds of them. Um, but if your fashion, uh, fashion, if your fabric stash is largely out of sight because it's too big to keep <laughs> in my view basement. or it's hidden away yes. from prying eyes from husbands. Um, then uh, it'd be very <laughs> handy to have that reference there yes um, then there's this lovely page here to document all your sewing projects yeah. um, so you've got the pattern the designer the size when you started it when you finished it have you washed the fabric have you bought the notions have you chased the pattern cut it out it's very um, comprehensive adjustments that you've made I've not seen a sewing plan that is this comprehensive it literally covers everything you would ever possibly want to document yeah. and then some other things that make you go oh that's yeah. a good idea yeah. I haven't thought about documenting that yes um, you've got a sewing shopping list here so you can yeah. list all the things you need to buy and where from um, and then you've got things like your pattern stash so you can record all the patterns that you've got so that you don't do what we've done before with PDF patterns it's very easy to buy duplicates yes. because you forget you've got it um, if there's a pattern wish list um, and then this is quite a cool one gaps in my wardrobe yeah so I quite like the idea of documenting the gaps in my wardrobe because I've already mentioned that and there yes. are a few yes um, it's also great if you are uh, into social media if you're into sharing your makes on social media because there are pages that are dedicated to specific <coughs> sewing challenges so yes. there's a make nine Keeps page track. Mm -hmm. um, there's a sew my stash page mm -hmm. um, there's a so uh, my style so my style sorry that's it so my that's stash is a whole different challenge yeah. <laughs> that sounds great I'm in <laughs> I wouldn't, but that's what your plan I'm is. I'm trying I don't want to. to be in. I yes. want to buy more fabric. Uh, <laughs> um, and then there are, if you're a YouTuber, there are uh, sheets for you to keep track of the videos that you have planned. There's also so, seasonal, uh, seasonal pages, so you can yeah. go through winter, spring, summer, and autumn. So yeah. you can do all of that. Yeah. So it's it's a very very comprehensive yes. pattern. We were uh, pattern, uh, not planner. pattern planner. Um, I'm getting all the wrong words today. Um, and we will go through it in detail once we yes. have populated ours with yes. all of our lovely plans. We'll we want to spend some time on it, making it really beautiful. Do one each. Yes, do one each. Um, but then it also has these very cute little motivational messages. I'm not sure they're motivational or just encouraging. Um, yeah. But yes, I really need all this fabric. You I'm can just put gonna, that one in front of your fabric I'm stash I'm going to put it on my, on my sewing um, room door. Sorry, I can't. I'm sewing today. Um, so it's really fun, very beautiful. Yes. Uh, we really 
really love it, Athena. You've done a great we'll job, Athena. And we'll look forward to doing um, a full review on that yeah, very we'll, soon. That'll come sometime in February. We'll get that done for you. So, so there you go. That's two it. sewing planners uh, for you to consider. Um, um, fabrics next. Ooh. So we have both fallen head over heels in love. Can I just say, first of all, do you know how hard it is to pick just one your favourite fabric <laughs> out of all of those fabrics what is the one that makes you yeah. go <gasps> we were quite overwhelmed <laughs> yeah I know because we were going off on different tangents and but we, yeah. we kind of I think we sort of got, we've got it in the end yes but we have fallen head over heels in love with Higgs and Higgs cable knit jerseys <gasps> oh my gosh over 25 gorgeous colours of these beautiful cable chunky knits. cable knits and I want them all. I want them all. They, <laughs> they just look like fabrics oh. that are going to hug you. They're just going to, it's just going to be like wearing a giant hug all day long. And who and doesn't want that? Exactly. <laughs> so it's the colours. For me, I mean, I love the chunky cable knit, don't get me wrong, yeah. but it's the colours that just oh. make me go, oh, I just, if, if you, the thing is, we've picked that fabric, or yes. you've picked that fabric, Yeah, but clearly I'm in love with it too. But we um, want about nine different colours. Yes. So I don't know if that counts, it's just one fabric. <laughs> I think but nine might, might be uh, conservative. I can yes. easily. Oh, we could have them, them all. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah, so beautiful. Because between our different colour palettes, yeah. we could just sew our, an entire wardrobe yeah. just yeah. with cable knits. And there's just they so, are so gorgeous. many options. Yes. Um, sweatshirts, they feel They look like they're quite a heavy weight. We tried to compare the weights of uh, the cable knits to uh, different jerseys that they've yeah. got on their website. So they do look like a big sort of chunky yeah. weight fabric. We have to wait till we can afford to buy some so we yeah, can actually we'll show, show you. you We'd love to do that. Um, what they look like um, yes. so you can see the weight for yourself. But I'm yes. so very excited just by the pictures I, alone. I am slightly worried that if I was ever to get my hands on some of it, I may never buy anything else ever again. <laughs> Because you know what I like? She, she I be like wearing a whole outfit. Just, just have a jumper up. in one colour, trousers in another, cardi <laughs> jacket in another. It would just be like knit, cable knit onesies She'd be all day, like every day. The man. She's got them all layered up. You know I like my comfort, ladies. So I would just be very happy. Well, every I'm very day. excited about this yes, too. Me so too. that's the comfort side. Yes. I've gone for the more um, glamorous, but everyday Ooh. still uh, side. So you know that we love Lady McElroy fabrics. We do. Um, and if you haven't seen it already we've done a video sponsored by Doughty's um, of Hereford before with some of their lovely uh, Lady McElroy um, lawns lawns yep. cotton lawns so we made pussy bow blouses in the lovely lawns um, when we were at the Great British Sewing Bee live back in September Matt from Doughty's um, let us know that um, hi Matt uh, that <laughs> Lady McElroy were releasing um, scubas <gasps> And if you've not noticed, we also love scuba. We do. You can find at least There's, two or I'm three other point, videos. I'm going to put those videos up there. <laughs> to things that we've made with scuba. Yeah. We love how easy it is to sew with, how wearable yeah. it is, but it's still modern. Yes. And um, it's just brilliant. Um, so the idea of having those beautiful Lady McElroy prints on scuba oh. is just far, far too exciting. Yes. Um, so uh, it's quite good that we are holding off for now because there aren't many of them available. No. So we know doubt is a getting them um, hopefully more prints will be coming in so yeah. i'm hoping that they'll have the whole range so everything they've got in lawn they'll bring yes. out in jersey and they'll bring out in, in i guess they'll well. wait and see how popular it is yeah so go and buy them go and buy them um so fabric godmother have already got a few in um and minerva have got a handful of them in as well yes. um so we're hoping um that those ranges will get more extensive very soon yes um but, I but don't... we have been promised by directors that they're getting a lot of them in yes so um, and if nothing else the gold chaffinch fabric <laughs> everybody oh. is in love with um, if only I that is available um, <laughs> <laughs> I can I'll have to leave it for you <laughs> So they are absolutely gorgeous. Um, the scuba fabrics um, look like they're about eighteen pounds a meter, mm -hmm. um, but as we've discovered, you don't need a lot, and there's no. an awful lot you can make with two meters of scuba. So that yeah. is, um, or even a meter, even a meter. Yes, yeah. you can make several skirts and things with just a meter. Um, yes. And then how much are the cable knit jerseys? I think fourteen, thirteen, I think ninety nine. Between thirteen and sixteen. Some of the colours are higher yes. priced. We'll, some we'll of the twelve ninety nine, some of the fifteen ninety nine. Down below. So you can go and, and check them all out for yourself, but don't buy them all because we're, we're going to be buying them soon. So don't buy them. <laughs> Save some for us. Yes, please. Because <laughs> we can't buy them now. Right, patterns. Yes. 
So patterns, I have been, I've, I found a picture or random picture on Pinterest. She does this. I she do sends this. me random pictures and oh, says, how can I this? make this? <laughs> and it was a pair of dungarees. I'll pop a picture up as well. So it was a pair of dungarees and I, I've want, I'm Are they from 46 years old and I want a pair of dungarees. Yeah. But I want a grown up pair of dungarees. I don't want to feel like I'm a carpenter wandering down to Tesco's. I want or to, that she's joining a, a 90s band. Exactly. Or I'm a <laughs> mechanic. Or so that's, in my head, that's who wears dungarees. So I don't, but I want to look stylish and I want to look modern and I don't want to look for them to be very oversized. They have to be quite fitted. And when I saw this picture, I knew that was exactly what would suit mm. my body shape as yeah. well. So I've been looking for some dungaree pattern which will fit this from Anthropology. And I, ha I thought I'd found one that was one... Um, you were looking at Emma Cool's pattern, which yes. is a very 70s shape dungaree. It's got um, big wide we legs. We love it, um, yes. but it, it would have to be adjusted quite heavily to be like the picture you'd seen. Yes, but then... We got an email from Tilly and the Buttons because we're suppliers of Tilly and the Buttons patterns mm. for their sewing school, and they sent us a picture of their new Mila dungarees. Oh, you're gonna and, love them! Oh my gosh, they're exactly what I was looking for. Mm -hmm. So it's um, like they saw Nikki's message yeah. to me, saying, like, "How do I make these?" They and made they thought, them. Do you know for what? Me. I'm gonna draft a pattern just for Nikki. And I think that's what <laughs> happened. That's exactly what's happened. Clearly, that's what's happened. So as soon as it comes out, I'm buying them and I'm gonna get them made. Very quickly yeah so i'm very excited about that are you going to go for a similar sort of fabric because they were the anthropology ones looked like they were in like a chambray um and they looked yeah. like it was a spotty spotty chambray. yes something i did buy a, a denim a dark denim with a pinstripe in it from fabric oh, godmother okay. yeah but i'm not sure if it's too heavy yeah so i'm gonna i'm gonna wait till the pattern comes see what tilly recommends so far, I've only just seen one image. Yeah. So I'm, I'm gushing over it already just with <laughs> one image. So I think I need to wait. I may need to buy some fabric, but yeah. I do have options if I don't need to. So okay. we might see. Excellent. I might make multiple pairs. <laughs> I'm imagining cable knit jumpers yeah. with dungarees. Oh, there you go. That's her sorted for at least six months of the year. <laughs> So uh, Tilly is not even out yet. So yeah. I don't know when. We haven't even got a release date. So you're getting a sneaky peek from us. Yes. Well, don't, don't tell anyone. My pattern could not be more different. <laughs> <laughs> so it's Equally one of the useful, uh, yeah, it's one of the simplicity ninetieth anniversary patterns. Um, I know simplicity have got a sale on at the moment, and so I could pick the pattern up for less than a fiver. Yes. Um, but the, if I start saying that about everything, then I will just buy all the things. It's a slippery so, slope. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm trying to be good and wait. Um, so what it is, is it is a range of eight different uh, 1930s sleeve patterns. Mm -hmm. um, and they're designed to fit with their 1930s bodices. Now, I think with a little bit of adaptation, um, mm. you could make them fit anything. And it's even though they're 30s, and I love the 30s, but I don't wear a lot of um, 30s inspired things. Um, I just think they're just very good general quite dramatic sleeves yes so you've got these huge balloon sleeves with cuffs or without cuffs there are fluted sleeves flare sleeves big <laughs> leg of mutton sleeves and um i just love the idea of taking those sleeves and adding them to modern patterns indie patterns yeah um, and just creating very dramatic yeah. look or even to your own slopers so you yeah. can make a basic sloper bodice yeah and then add all of these sleeves well, i'm thinking it. imagine if you took like something that's as simple as like the cocoa dress or something yeah and then you added a huge bell sleeve to it it would just be a completely different pattern but it would, it would. It'd be so simple yeah um so that is my plan and um, to buy this uh pattern with eight different sleeve variations yeah there are a couple of them that i don't really think are going to work for me um mm. but six out of eight i think probably yeah. will so i think i'll have a lot of fun with that and i think it's a yeah. good way to um put your own spin on something but still produce it very quickly yes um and uh, so yeah i'm very that's excited that's like it might be a video we could pick a sleeve each. the dramatic sleeve <laughs> <video>. <laughs> We pick a bit, make a make a basic bodice or pick a basic bodice and pick well, a sleeve. Well, one of the sleeves would allow you to recreate the top that you had on yesterday with huge. Um, I'll if pop you saw, a picture um, up. Yeah, <laughs> I saw Nikki's Instagram yesterday. She was wearing a huge sleeve, um, so you could yes. recreate that. With I this was. Pattern. I felt like adamant. I had to do uh, everything. Was accentuated <laughs> with my massive sleeves. <laughs> That's my adamant my impression. Strike in case you my nose. I can tell you <laughs> how very old good. I am. <laughs> But uh, yes, it was when my husband wasn't too sure about the outfit, but there you know. 
What does he know? What does uh, he that, know? For me, that is exactly. a good... I don't want to offend good husbands sign. now. Instagram but, liked it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good gauge. If the husbands aren't sure, it yes. means it's far too fashion forward, which yes. is a good thing. For so, them. Yes. Um, so that's good. Um, so that's patterns. Yes. The last thing is tools. We yes. Used a couple of tools. We wanted to pick two tools that we were both <coughs> very excited about. Yes. Um, I so. broke the bank on mine. Mine is all of... Four pounds, ladies. <laughs> Four pounds. And uh, I, am waiting. Penny, I am though, waiting. I am waiting. Uh, Rachel and I both have plans to make the ginger jeans this year. Um, and there's something that we found called a jeanimajig. She's waiting because in my head. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I've mentioned that in word, my head, she's gone. I can't do it without singing it to <laughs> the tune of Blankety Blank. Blank. Gina Magic, Gina Magic, Gina Magic. <laughs> just in my head, that's how you have to say it. This is um, what I have to put up with. Can Gina Magic. Say... <laughs> Gina Magic. <laughs> Tried to have a serious conversation about sewing tools. It's me. And this is what it. happens. Gina Magic, Gina Magic, Gina Magic. <laughs> But the great thing is when you use it, you won't get a crappy checkbook no. and pen at the end. You will get a beautiful pen. But I, I dare you not to, every time you pick it up, have Rachel's voice in your head going, Gina Majink, Gina Majink. Because <laughs> that's what will happen from now on. Yeah. So four pounds, and what it does, it's a little uh, tool that you slip underneath and it helps you get over your bumpy seams. I think it's going to be really useful in class as well. Yeah. Because we do occasionally have some sewing machines that don't like really bulky seams. So I yes. think it will come into into use for all of those things. So you imagine if you're making jeans. jeans and you're putting your back pockets onto the jeans. Yes. And so you've hemmed the top of the pocket, you've hemmed the side of the pocket. That means you've now got four layers of denim in the yeah. corner of the pocket. And you you're now want to, to position that stitch. on your back of your jeans yes. and do a perfect top stitch without it moving yeah um that's five layers of denim to get through yeah um and it's not easy so the gina majig gina majig gina majig <laughs> will make it easier <laughs> <laughs> so that's definitely being purchased yes <laughs> Tell us about yours. Mine is, I don't know if you've seen any videos of this around, but I just literally did a happy dance when I saw it. It's called the Magic Embroidery Pen. They're super cheap and they come from China and I have no idea if they work, but the video looks amazing. It does, so I think yeah. I need to find out. Um, what it is, is it's a, a pen like an awl. You feed your embroidery thread through the bottom of the pen, comes out of the nib, you put it through a little eye. Yeah. And then in theory, you can embroider designs just by pushing it in, in and out. Yes. And um, and I've seen such beautiful designs that it <coughs> claims you can make with it. Yes. Um, I love a bit of hand embroidery. Mm. I just don't have the time to do it. Um, but I, I just love that detail. Mm. Um, and if this works, I'm going to be embroidering yeah. everything. Every video, she'll have some kind of like giant peacock coming up <laughs> over her shoulder. It looks like you can just do a simple back stitch and a satin stitch yes. um, but when we teach embroidery we just tell people that's the that's outlines and then the colouring in yeah, yeah, and absolutely. that you can create all sorts of different yeah, designs of that so, um, so yeah I'm really really hoping that it works um, and that yeah. we can get one soon so I yeah. can test it out. You could still add to that so even if you did a lot of your outlines and a lot of your colouring you could still add extra stitches yeah, by hand. Yeah, French knots here and yeah. there or some lazy daisies or whatever else. Yeah, that, would, more be, that yes. would be lovely. But yes. if you could just get the main bulk done very quickly, very quickly. with this pen. Yeah. So. She's, she's very excited. She was jumping up and down trying to get it on I the I very computer. nearly ordered it. I was like, mm, no, no, no. <laughs> We're wait. waiting. <laughs> So that's it. That's yes. all we've got for you today. Yes. So um, I hope you like what we've what we've Our come up list. with. We might do. We'll probably do another one in the summer and uh, and try and uh, come up with another list of new things that we like. And, and if you're interested in seeing any videos of the things that we've mentioned, um, obviously we're doing the sewing planner, Athena sewing planner. Yes. Um, but if you want to see uh, the embroidery pen in Gina action Gina or Gina the <laughs> If you want to see we'll Nikki's uh, Mila dungarees or some yes. dramatic sleeves, um, if you want to see the Higgs and Higgs cable knit jumpers um, or the, the beautiful Lady McCoy yes. scuba sewn up into things, yes. comment below, let us know, and it will help us decide what other videos to do yes, for you. Absolutely. And it might convince us that we need to buy these things a bit sooner than we, we do would do need otherwise. To buy them. We need to buy them all. Yes. <laughs> anyway, have a great weekend, guys, and we'll see you soon with another video. Yeah, see you. Bye. Bye.